In this video, we're comparing congas and bongos because I've heard too many people call a conga or a djembe or a doombek a bongo drum or bongos. I'm Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes. When I'm asked to play bongos, half the time I end up playing congas. So the question here is, what's the difference between congas and bongos? A conga is big and a bongo is not. And although size and design matter a lot when comparing congas and bongos, the sounds, techniques, origins, and patterns are just as different. The size of the drums is the most obvious difference between congas and bongos. Congas are larger in diameter and the depth of the shells is much larger than on bongo. Although sizes for each type of drum can vary from one model to another, the top brands mostly have 11 inch, 11 and 3 quarter inch, and 12 and a half inch congas, and bongos are 7 and a quarter inch for the macho and 8 and 5 eighths inch for the embra. If you're buying drum heads, Follow the size charts because the same drum can receive different sizes for different drum head models. The fact that Bongo has two drums connected to one another is the most fundamental design difference between the two. Congas can be mounted two drums on one stand, but it's not the same. You'll see a drummer playing on one conga, but you're not likely to see someone playing one bongo drum like just the macho and not the embra. Bongo sounds are higher in pitch and thinner in terms of the air that they move. The drums are smaller so they just can't impact the soundscape like a conga drum. The way the sounds are produced is also a major difference. Bongo sounds are made with mostly fingers, while congas are often incorporating the entire hand. Although both congas and bongos are played with hands, each instrument requires different techniques to produce the sounds. Bongo techniques involve more individual fingers, while congas use more of the whole hand. Tones on bongo are produced by striking the drum head with either one or three fingers. Strokes can either be with the finger uh, up to the first joint or up to the second joint behind the knuckle. The difference between how many joints you use to make the sound will determine the tone that you produce. Basic conga sounds like slaps and open tones are produced by striking the drum near the edge of the head with the part of your hand where the palm meets the fingers. Bongo was used in the dance band orchestras of Cuba decades before the conga drum was adapted to these groups. The congas were added to Cuban ensembles in the 1930s, while bongo had been, had been played since the late 1800s. The beginnings of salsa were established when bands in Cuba and the United States started playing with both congas and bongos and timbales. <laughs> Martillo is the main pattern for bongo. It means hammer, and that's exactly what your fingers will do for the duration of the song, hammer the drums. This is why playing with excellent technique is so important in avoiding injuries.
Chumbao is the main pattern for congas. This pattern, like martillo, is all eighth notes with specific sounds assigned to each note. The main sounds are slaps and tones filled in with heel and toe strokes. Thank you.